This is the beginning of the organ pipe doorbell. Packing it up in a piece of cardboard to lay out the pipes. There's going to be the largest one here um, and the other smaller ones back here for the base. And then there's a range of 25 or so pipes laid out here for uh, the rest of the sound. Okay, these are some possible valves. This is a Reissner uh, vintage valve here with the 5 8 stopper. And I've got about 25 of those. This is a Kimber Allen 5 8 uh, type valve with about 30 of those. And this is a one and a quarter inch Kimber Allen. These ones have an adjustable damper on the bottom here uh, to, so that the pad doesn't bounce on the pipe. And this is the air uh, regulator in the box here. This is a little blower. It gives me 1.6 inches of wind, which is just about perfect. The bellows here, and there's a metal spring on the bottom to uh, keep the force on it. Uh, and this is just my test box here with one of the Reissner valves inside of it that I can operate by a 9 volt battery. And that is just a counterweight. Alright, so this is a pipe hooked up to the little bellows, and we're activating the solenoid inside by touching it to a 9 volt battery. And it works. It works pretty well. It's running on 1.2 inches of wind right now uh, at 19 volts, and we'll up that to 1.6 inches for the final thing. Cool. Okay, here are most of the pipes laid out in the actual top board here. I'm missing the largest base ones because that's the biggest one that fits on top of the table here in the basement. Uh, and this will be the lowest one, 16 foot board on, and then the 8 foot pitch, and then the uh, F and the G, the same associated pitch. You notice my pipes don't go all the way in, that's because I drew the holes according to this size chart which is wrong because it says 1.000 inches but it's actually 1.025 inches because they're compensating for pencil lead. So I cut the holes according to this chart and now the holes are too tight. So I'll have to drill them up to make the pipes fit. But anyway, that is more or less what the doorbell will look like. Here is the doorbell so far. The wind chest inside. We got all the wiring hooked up here with a little uh, D-sub connector there feeding all of the solenoids. Each solenoid has a FET connected to it uh, and that allows it to operate at uh, low current. So this voltage is coming in here will be 0 to 5 volts logic. That trips the FET which closes the solenoid. We've got a triplet of solenoids here for the 16 foot uh, C1 pipe and I also put weather stripping around the edge here for putting the bottom uh, bottom plate on to get a good seal. And that's backwards. Try that again. There we go. So uh, that way we get a good airtight seal. We've got the little hole here for the air to come in and a wiring diagram here which I need to transfer to the wood so I can easily uh, figure it all out. We've got power on some of the pins and uh, most of these pins are occupied for signal. And this is a circuit diagram uh, showing the uh, IRF 540 MOSFETs I used. The solenoids have a built-in uh, snubber diode there. I want to actually put LEDs to light up the pipes when a pipe is activated. I think that would be really cool.